Thanks a lot, guys. Deuce McAllister joins us here in Los Angeles. Boy, I don't know where to start, but uh, uh, tough loss, but we got to go to number nine, Drew Brees. Uh, you've been around him since he's been in New Orleans Saint. We've never seen a situation where he's left the game because of an injury like this. Hadn't seen that situation, and it was, you know, obviously disappointing that he, uh, Sean Payton, was kind of snappy as well, wasn't very pleased with uh, just the overall performance. And, you know, it felt like that they could have played better, should have played better, but just didn't take care of enough of the business, and you end up with a loss. Talk about Teddy Bridgewater coming in. Uh, you know, they couldn't really get a, a flow in this offense. So what, what do you see moving forward? I mean, it's a tough situation for any backup quarterback to come in. But Teddy Bridgewater obviously has had the experience to do something like that in the NFL. Well, I think they have to find a rhythm, and they never could find a rhythm. That's the disappointing part of it from an offensive standpoint. You know, there were too many times first and second down behind the chains. You know, second and long, first and long. You can't do that on the road. And just too many mistakes. I mean, even with Teddy, I thought he was up and down, um, you know, maybe holding the ball too long. His receivers didn't help him. Uh, and so, you know, I think if I remember correctly, every offensive lineman had a holding call. Now, you're playing a really good offensive front, but you can't have that. Sean Payton said a number of times in his press conference, when we look at the tape tomorrow, a lot of guys aren't going to be happy. And, and I know that includes Sean Payton. You mentioned the offensive line. I mean, to me, this is supposed to be one of the strengths of this football team besides center going in. How much does this concern you? Well, I don't, I don't think it concerns you. It's just, you know, you can't be up and down like that. I mean, because they're too, too good of a group. And so they just have to refocus. You play an outstanding game Monday, and then it comes back a really a short week in a sense. But uh, you have to be able to bounce back. We don't know the future of Drew Brees as we tape this right now. He's going to see a specialist in Los Angeles. Let's say Drew Brees is out for a long, extended time. What do you think of this team without Drew Brees moving forward? A ton of talent still on this football team. Still, still a ton of talent. You have to have some guys that rally and stand up, you know, as far as leaders are concerned. And so understand, Teddy, this is your show. This is your team, and, you know, you have to be able to lead them. You know number nine, too. Yeah. And you know how antsy he must have been leaving that game. Sean Payton said something interesting. You know, we weren't going to put him back in there to throw the ball. If he had to go back in, he was just going to hand the ball off. You know, how tough is this on him, just knowing him? Well, he, I mean, he wants to be able to perform. He prepares too hard. He wants to play. And so not having that opportunity, it, it hurts him. Deuce, having you know, the comfort level of staying out here in the West Coast, not going back and forth. As a player, how does that help moving forward to Seattle next week? Well, the recovery part, that's the biggest part. And so you talk about your body being able to recover and not having that extra flight put on your body. So you'll have some opportunity to watch some film. You know, a lot of the guys you'll be together, so there won't be any extra stuff going on in that sense. So your focus becomes Seattle. Final question, and not a lot of good news. We we're used to talking a lot of good news here, but you know the, how this team is at its core. What do you see moving forward if they have to move forward here? They're a resilient bunch. You know, you have to be able to rally the troops. You're a young group. You know, so hey, you know, strap it on. It's a tough road. You knew it would be tough. Let's go see what you can do. All right, appreciate your time. Appreciate it. All right, Deuce McAllister here in Los Angeles. Back to you guys in the studio.